Good day, my dear students. I am Agi, your teacher in general mathematics. Welcome to our new lesson, Evaluation of Functions. But before we're going to start, I would like to refresh you with the last topics that we just had last time. Uh, the definition of functions, relation, and its illustration. We even discuss the vertical line test. Uh, the vertical line test is used to uh, identify or determine whether a graph is considered to be a function or not. So once again, we are in our general mathematics class. Again, I'm Mr. Pajaos, your teacher in senior high, Gisad Valley National High School. So before we're going to have the evaluation of functions, which is our concern, now there are things that we need to understand, which is the function notation. Now what is function notation? This is actually a symbol for function, like fx. You will notice we have in here the symbol fx, but this is not read as fx. This is read as fx is read as f of x. You will notice that uh, when we are talking of function notation, it is not only uh, written in fx, but uh, it can be written uh, using uh, other variables such as g of x, m of x, q of x, p of x. So you will notice the symbol are similar to f of x. And so those are what we will now the fun uh, function notation symbol. Now we have in here the uh, x. Now what is x in the f of x? It is actually called to be our input. So meaning x is an input of a function. And another one is, as what we have said last time, that uh, when we have an input, we always have an output and this is represented by the symbol f of x and you will notice also that f of x is equated to y such as f of x is equal to y i understand before that uh, in your lower mathematics you are exposed to this uh, kind of equation. Example is y is equated to 6 minus 3x or y is equal to 4x or y is equal to uh, 10x plus 5. So what about if we are going to consider this y is equal to 6 minus 3x? Now how are we going to uh, evaluate this one? So you will notice we are going to assume values of x uh, to be our input. So consider that uh, the x we have in here is or are negative 2, negative 1, 0, uh, 2, and positive 1. How do we get the value of y? Meaning to say, if we are going to get the value of y, we have to plug in each values of x and replace the x in the equation. So that uh, if we have uh, a value of negative 2 to get y that is the same as saying we have 6 minus 3 multiplied by negative 2 so negative 3 multiplied by negative uh, 2 will give you positive 6 so 6 plus 6 will give you 12 that is the same as when we are going to get the value of y if our x is negative 1. So how is that? 6 minus 3 multiplied by negative 1. So negative 1 multiplied by negative 3 will give you positive uh, 3. So 3 plus 6 will give you 9. And so on and so forth. So we have in here, if our uh, x is positive 2, then the answer would be zero. Now that is the basic uh, you had in your uh, lower mathematics. But for now that uh, you are having now your general mathematics, 
the basic equation that you have uh, in your lower years, you will be exposed now to this kind of uh, notations. So your y is equal to 6x minus 3 can be written as f of x is equal to 6 minus 3x. We have said last time that uh, when we are talking of y, y is the same as f of x. So we just replace the y in the old equation with f of x. Now how are we going to evaluate this uh, uh, function? That is, we are going to just to do the same. We assume values of x and plug in the values of x that we have and consider the operation involved in the function. So we get the same value 12, 9, 6, 3, and 0. I said a while back that when we are going to evaluate our equation, we are going to assume. But you will notice in here, when we are going to assume, there are rules that we are going to, to use in assuming the values of x, such as finding the domain of a function. Now, how do we find the domain of the function? Generally, all functions has a domain of real numbers. Generally, all functions has a domain of real numbers. But let's try to consider this concept. When a function is defined by an equation and the domain of function is not stated, we assume that the domain is all real numbers. Now, there will be certain cases where a specific numbers cannot be included in the domain or set of numbers cannot be included in the domain. Examples. We have in here f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. This is considered to be a linear function or example of a linear function. You will notice that there would be no restriction on this so that the domain is all real numbers or the domains are all real numbers. How about this one? g of x is equal to a rational function which is 1 over x minus 2. Is there a restriction of this function? Yes, there is. What is the restriction? We have said that in the rational function, denominator must not be zero. Meaning to say, the domain of this rational function are all real number except the number that will give a result in the denominator as zero. What is that? Positive two. So you will notice if we consider positive 2 as one of the values of x, positive 2 minus 2 is 0, and that is already not considered as a domain of our rational function g of x. So it says in here, a denominator cannot be equal to 0, so that x should not be equal to 2. Why? Why? Because it will make the rational function to be an undefined number. What about this? h of x is equal to the square root of the sum of x plus 6. Would there be a restriction of this uh, kind of function? There is. It says in here, you cannot take the square root of a negative number. So x must be greater or equal to negative 6. The domain is the set of all x's such that x 
must be greater or equal to negative 6. Find the domain of each function. We have in here f of x is equal to x raised to 2 plus 2. Of course, the domain of this function is that the set of all x's such that x are all real numbers. How about this one? g of x is equal to the square root of the difference of x and 1. You cannot take the square root of a negative number. So x must be greater or equal to 1. The domain is the set of all x's such that x must be greater or equal to 1. How about this one? Again, as what we have said, the denominator must not be 0, and so the domains are all real numbers except the number that will make the denominator 0. Now, what is that number? Negative 5. So it says in here, a denominator cannot be equal to 0, so x should not be equal to negative 5. And so the domains are all real numbers except negative 5. Here comes now the evaluation of function. Now how do we evaluate? When we are going to evaluate, we have to recall the idea or concept of the substitution method. Now what is substitution method? The idea in here is you replace, you replace x with its values. Consider this one. For our function, f of x is equated to 8 plus 4x. And it says in here, evaluate f of 0, f of 1 half, and f of negative 2. Meaning to say, the values given in here are all a uh, real number. They are all real number. And so, our domain are the following. 0, 1 half, and negative 2. Now, what is the value of this function? f of x is equal to 8 plus 4x if my x is 0. Consider this computation. f of 0 is equal to 8 plus 4 multiplied by 0. Now you will notice 4 multiplied by 0 is 0 and so added with 8. So the result will be 8. What did I do in here? I made use of the substitution method. I just replace x's in the equation with what? 0. And so the result will always be 8. What about if we consider the value of x is 1 half? Now you will notice I replace the x with 1 half. So the function is f of 1 half is equal to 8 plus 4 multiplied by 1 half. Now 4 multiplied by 1 half will give you 2. And that 2 is to be added with 8, so it will give you 10 as the result of the function. Now what about if in my function f of x is equal to 8, plus 4x, the value of x is negative 2. Now again, replace the value of uh, x or replace x with its value, uh, negative 2. So we have in here, f of ne is equal to 8 plus 
4 multiplied by negative 2. So 4 multiplied by negative 2 will give you negative 8. And so we have in here 8 minus, neg minus 8 will give you 0. What about if we consider this function? f of x is equal to x raised to 2 minus 2x. And it says in here, evaluate the following. f of negative 2, f of negative 1, f of 0. So to evaluate f of negative 2 in the function f of x is equal to x raised to 2, minus 2x, substitute x using negative 2. So you have in here the statement, which is uh, color red, f of negative 2 is equal to the quantity of negative 2 raised to the second power will give you positive 4, and another one in here, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2, is positive 4. So what would be the result? You will notice 4 plus 4 will give you 8. Try to look at it and try to understand how it is computed. Let's consider another one. To evaluate f of negative 1 in the function f of x is equal to x raised to 2 minus 2x. How are we going to do that one? As you can see, we have in here the original function f of x is equal to x raised to 2 minus 2x. What did we do? We just replace x with its value, which is negative 1. So negative 1, the quantity negative 1 raised to 2 will give you, will give you Positive 1, what about this? Negative 2 multiplied by negative 1, it will give you positive 2. So 1 plus 2 will give you 3. How about the next values of x? What about if your x is 0? So substitute x using 0. So we have in here, f of 0 is equal to 0 raised to 2 minus 2 multiplied by 0. 0 raised to 2 is the same as 0. And negative 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. So it will give you a result of f of 0 is 0. So... Again, before we end this lecture, I hope you understand the concept of evaluating function. And if you did not, you can just go over watching it again. Please uh, click subscribe button and uh, click the notification bell so that uh, you will be reminded of the new lesson posted. Again, if you have queries, just type in the comment box in our Facebook page, the core subject, General Mathematics. And do not forget to have your attendance below the description. Just click the link and fill in your attendance. The reason why I always give an attendance is for you to uh, be used in the online uh, platform, especially when we are going to schedule online examination, and that is the same as or similar in uh, filling up your attendance. Again, thank you for listening.